Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Give or Lose It. I believe what is not given is lost, especially knowledge. That's why for the past 16 years, I'm a self-taught guitarist. And since 2007, I opened the YouTube channel that I have now. Uh, and I've been sharing more than 500 videos of guitar lessons or guitar playings that I've learned by myself and I'm sharing it with the world. I do what I like to say, the circle. I like to uh, have a hobby, learn something, try to not master it, but make it well enough and good enough so you can share it and then repeat. And because of that beautiful cycle, a small side note to all my subscribers and my guitar friends out there, I wanna thank you for supporting me because if it wasn't for you, all these years, I would have not reached anywhere close to the level I am now. Not that I'm uh, one of the best out there, not by a long shot, but uh, I imagine my full-time job is a Latin dancer. I do and salsa and bachata and ballroom dancers and modern dance sometimes, and I have a school for 14 years. But the guitar touches me in a very different way. And today I would like to share with you how to play tangos, not tango, that's from Argentina, and it's another style of music. Tangos is for flamencos, which is a style of music in flamenco, like pulerias, alegrías, soleá, uh, etc. And uh, the chords are not so difficult, except the first one. It's got some nice toca hits with the nails. And why explain it when I can show it, right? So first I'll play for you a few bars, a few sequences. I'll explain them to you later. It's a 4-4 count and uh, let's go. Okay guys, so that was just a very small piece of the continuation that goes like that. You can play it, of course, much slower or as fast as this, or even better, take it slow and go faster and have another guitar soloing on top. You can record yourself playing this. Uh, I'll show you simple ways of playing it and then I'll show you also the complicated way of putting the triple rajado and also how to hit with the nails and the bottom nails. But uh, I think one, two, three different ways so you can have different levels in one video. It's quite cool. Now, whoever picked it up just by watching, I'm very happy. You can stop the video here, go have fun with it. But for anyone else there that needs a good explanation, everybody knows I can be a little bit annoying. I'm going to try to over break down this combination. <laughs> All right, first let's start by putting the two fingers on the second and the third fret, this last, the pinky and the ring finger, the pinky goes on the second string on the third fret, and your ring will go on the third fret again, but on the one above, on the G string, right here. All right, I'm taking some time here because this is the only tough chord. Then we have to stretch a little bit with the index and go to the middle bass, that's the fifth string counting from down up, and Press down on the first fret. That's a little bit of a stretch. And not if that's not enough, we have to go on the top bass and press on the third string, on the third fret, sorry, <laughs> and on the sixth string on the top bass. And we have this. I mean, this sound for me is just so beautiful. It just inspires you. gives you that vibe Mediterranean or flamenco okay so first let's go through the chords that's number one number two is the A you were probably wondering you have never seen this before some flamenco players use two fingers to uh, take two strings and one more to hold the second string I like to use this joint here and just bend it diagonally and press the fourth the third and the second string 
uh, all together with this one press. I can also use a finger like that. Of course, you can put all three fingers as a regular A. Most people do that, so there's no problem to it. Let's continue. So, B flat seven, A, repeat. So that's two times. There we go, third time. Fourth time and finishing. Finishing meaning we're gonna go to a D minor. Now, if you have any problem with chords, uh, these are quite simple. You can even see it with my mobile uh, video shit quality. <laughs> I apologize for that, guys. Uh, I've broken my HD. I took it out in the sun and we did uh, about an hour of filming and it's an old one. The lens broke. So if you like to support, there's a link in the donation. Uh, sorry, there's a link in the description for donation and uh, to gather up money to get an HD so I can do my lessons better. So here you're going to strum your D minor and put your pinky on the first string on the third fret. You don't have to lift your index for that. You hear that extra sound? And then lift. Okay, so do it again. All right, then we change to a C chord. That's an easy one. I don't have to explain as well. And then we're going to be going the same as we did with the pinky, but on the second string on the third fret. One more time. Then we return back to the beginning, which is that hard chord, I know. And then we go to finish on the A. That's a whole sentence of tangos now. Okay, so there were bars, but now it's a complete sentence. And on a side note, you might see me do a little hit here. What does that mean? Because there, most of accents are on three, not on one as usual for four counts. Um, uh, the tango, you will go on the last A of the whole sequence I just showed. You will go one and two and three, four, one. So one and two and three, four. You're not strumming, you're just empty. You can even go one and two and three, four, go straight away to the next one. That's what actually gives it another beautiful feel is because of that ending right there. So for a class, if you play this rhythm, they can dance all day to this. Now let's start putting in um, the sound that we produce by using the right hand. First we start off, I'll show it without the nail, then the nail will come naturally. I'll show you a technique. You can use it on all many other things. Man, I'm glad to be doing lessons here again. I know it's not the best quality, guys, but I just can't stop having so much new things in my head and not sharing them with my guitar friends. I've been doing this for 13 years. It's 2020 now, and we're in the COVID season, and I have this extra time, and my energy just wants to share. So I'll shut up and continue. We go down with the index. We're going to be playing a lot with the index, up and down, up and down, ding, 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 ding. So you can practice first. Get that, get that nice strong sound. Now if you're more down, you have more the tremolo, a little bit of a bass, full bass, I would suggest that. So I like more down to the tremble and a little bit on the fourth string and fifth string. Okay, now the pattern for to start with is so it's down, up, up, down a little delay, get that feeling of and then you change to the A so you go patita puta pata just like the previous ending da -di -da -di Notice that I start on the up. You can start on the down, but it's not going to be very helpful. Repeat. Repeat. Last one. I think if we did three, this is the fourth one. So meaning changing from... 
uh, here to here. That's one time, that's two times, that's three times, and then you're finishing on the fourth one. And then... Now on the D minor, it's the same pattern as we did on the B7. It's... You can lift on the last second. You can do many different things here, actually. You can, you can leave it down or... Sorry. On the last one, lift up. That's both good options. You gotta stay on this time. Bam, bam, ba, dam, just like the first on the B flat seven. Same on... Uh, nah, uh, sorry, not same on the C. Us on the C, or you can go straight away, but as long as it is this much the time that you use, and then back to the B7, just like we learned before, and now. Lift the fingers up, so you get a muted sound, and if you can, three, four, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, one, two, last one, ba. See, I'm speeding it up a little bit along uh, because I don't want this lesson to be too long. Uh, I lie. I like teaching and putting detail in. But let's go straight away. How to practice now. The same pattern. You're not going to change anything after you've learned it. You can put also your finger here and practice like this, which is softer. And just move up and down. And once you're more confident about that, you're going to try every time you stroke down with a bent finger, you try to leave this one to hit the nail, the side of your nail and your skin to hit on the guitar. And then when you go up, nothing. When you go down, hit, up, hit, up, hit, up, hit. So practice like this before you put in the pattern, before you go. You see, it, the, the, the hit sounds like the pattern. They don't sound. And except when you do that, dun, 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 and you have a continuous. So it would be good actually to start without the pattern, like doing the wrong thing. It's a very nice way to warm up and then go to the second technique and to the first technique. thing left usually when uh, I come on the A on the second time there is a one two three ring finger middle and index and uh, how do we do that let's start from the beginning and it's on the second part and the lesson will be finished now the second time around down down I just do up down only and then the triplet. So and then up, up, down to finish it. And you know you can mute the sound like this. You can also put your pinky so you can have that tss, tss, a little bit of cut. So if you start I know you might have seen me also do this. 
but I think I'm gonna go too deep into that. I barely know how I do it. My just my nails just hit when I start going a little bit faster. As I was doing the rumba flamenca like this as well when I'm going. So that's just one hit. But when I relaxed my thumb, I started hearing this. My finger just bounces off, so you have that. So that's something you just I just picked up, and it's very hard for me to explain. Uh, I'll try to play it one last time and put it in a slower motion, just so you guys so you can follow along. And I'll also do the down hits. So instead from the beginning where I played it fast, maybe you can copy it off here at the end. Sorry, got a niche here. All right, so we have. Here you cut down the triplet, sorry. I'll do it on the second one. One and two and three, hit one. I did some triplets in other places. You can do them wherever you feel like it. If you have the speed or the adjustment in your fingers. Okay. So I hope you like this lesson, guys. I hope I didn't over explain, but I really think there are people out there that might have difficulties on the guitar, not just by seeing and picking it up. Some people are blessed with that. I was never blessed with that. I can never see something and just copy it. I have to slow it down. I have to study it. I have to hear it if it's correct. And like anyone else, I would prefer if I had some tabs. <laughs> it's not bad to know your flaws when you're playing or learning anything, but especially the guitar, because you cannot get away with them if you do them wrong, if you sound wrong. All right, if you want to do a quadruple, and you want to have it muted like that, or a little bit more orderly. So these little details make a lot of difference. If you like this kind of videos, guys, with Spanish and flamenco, I've got most of my YouTube videos are like that. I've got a playlist right here you can click on and find out a lot of pieces. I've done some, a lot of nice pieces myself. I've been making small videos to see the intro of some of them and then taking it to the whole uh, lesson and the whole song so you can hear it. Uh, why I do that? Because I believe uh, I have new creations, but I'll be waiting for the Super HD so I can do them with a nice sound. Yeah, the mobile, I think, gives a nice sound, but nothing is quite as good as a Sony example 600 Euro HD camera, which I have an eye on. <laughs> All right, guys, see you in the next video. And if you have any requests and questions, make sure you leave them in the comment. Take care.